Hi, FileMaker Web Forms Generator is a quick and cost effective way to make a web form like this to allow users to enter information into your database, such as a, cost, a uh, contact us form or a uh, request a quote form, or to allow users to view current records and edit those records. So I'll run through the process of creating a new account and creating your first web form. So I click on the create new account button and enter your information and I'll do that now. So I've done that, I press the submit details button and that will create my account and take me to my web forms page. So here I can see my contact details and I can update my details if I wish. But down here is where my web forms are. You can see in my first form uh, and while it's a beta I've got it in at $45 and you can press pay now. And the payment will go through Square and I'll just do the payment details now. Once I do that, I'll receive a Square uh, transaction reference number and I can go back and log into my account. And now I can see my first form has a generate form button and I can click on that. And this will take me to another page where I can generate my form. So I'll enter in my FileMaker details now of the form that of the FileMaker file that I want to connect to. On that, I've entered my FileMaker file name, I've entered the table name and the layout name, and the primary key name of that table. That's only required for the purpose of editing records and not creating records. For this demo, I'll do create new records first. Uh, the FileMaker server name, where the file is located, and the data API username and password. That's optional. If you don't want to enter that in across the web, then you can enter it into your to your to your generated forms later. And you can pick a time zone, and that will fix any uh, time zone issues, such as um, such as uh, USA times, for example. Then you can enter in as many fields on the form as you would like to show in your web form down here. So I'm just putting in two forms: a text form and a date form. You can say whether they are required or even read only, for if you just want to present information to the user for their own edit record, or perhaps show some auto auto entered information on your web page. And click the next button and press generate forms, and that generates the three files that are required to upload to your web server to make your form. So there's an authentication file with the username and password. There's the user interface file and also the update file. And I'll uh, save those, uh, show you a method to save those to your web uh, hosting here. Visual Studio Code, which is a free um, code editor, uh, which is which is quite good for working with PHP files. Uh, but you can use any editor you choose. So first I'll copy my authentication file and save that. So I'll save this file as authenticate.php and that must be saved exactly. So take note of how authenticate.php is spelt and make sure you save the name with the file with that name. I'll then create a new file for the user interface and I'll copy my user interface code and I'll paste it there and then I'll save that. Now this file can have any name that you like, so I'll call it index.php because that should load as, as default um, on most web servers, that's the default web page to load up. And then I'll create another final file which is to update the record back to the database. And this file needs to be named uh, exactly according to the um, the file name which is in the bottom of the index.php file. Uh, I believe I copied the wrong code there. Yeah, that's better. New test table update.php. So that is what my update file needs to be called. So the update file must be called new test table update. PHP. So 
both to save that now. And that's my file saved. Now all I need to do is upload these to my FileMaker, uh, sorry, to my web server. And if I didn't enter a username and password before, then I can enter one in my authenticate.php file at the top of that file now. So I'll show you how to upload that using FileZilla. Uh, but you could upload it with any method that you'd like. So I've generated and I've logged into my web server with FTP and I can just simply upload these files now. Your web server should have instructions for how to create an FTP account and to connect to that with FileZilla. Uh, you might want to go to your cPanel access if you have that. If you don't have that then simply go to your file browser on your, um, on your web server and just upload the files through your web-based file browser. Now I'll open index.php in web browser. Here's my form now. I've simply entered my folder name and I can enter the file name. If I didn't call it something besides index.php, I'd type that in. Enter my file name and that will load my page. And now I can enter some data in here and press save and that will save it to my database. And here is my database and I can see a new record, web demo data. And so I'll do that again. Press save. And there it is saved to my database. Uh, so that's how you do the, the uh, create new. Now I've created another database using the, uh, uh, another set of web files using the edit web files. Uh, using the edit option. Now if I take my primary key and I'll go to test form edit and it's created in exactly the same way. Just create the files and save them. Entering my file name and now I go question mark key and I enter in the key of the record that I uh, key equals. Enter the key of the record that I want to edit and that will and I gave my file a different name, so I'll put in a different name. And that will load up the file. So if I uh, then pick another record, for example, select my primary key there, enter my primary key, and that will load that other record from the database. And there it is now. And just one final example. There we go. And I can edit this information. So now I'll change it to the old decade. And set it back a year. Press save. And then it saves that record back to the database. So that's how you use FileMaker Web Form uh, Generator. And if you have any questions or would request any uh, support, then please contact me at on schwartzsoftware at schwartzsoftware.com.au or on the phone number on my webpage. Thank you.